Ah! Where's those kids playing cards? I need sustenance! God damn it! Five days! Five days, but I'm back! I'm back! Oh, I lied to everyone. But I'm back now, Papa's home, and I have 25 strange Japanese uh, random assorted booster packs. We're gonna go through all of these today. A lot of these come up and will be seen getting purchased in future episodes of the Japanese vlog series on Max Mofo 2, but it's too hard to not keep the flow going. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna open up a, um, a football pack or something. Maybe this is some weird anime about uh, characters playing football. Slash soccer, yep. I don't think it's a good idea to be playing in a hat, but you know, to each their own. I, I get, uh, she's playing in some earmuffs. I guess everyone's gonna have accessories, at least she doesn't have anything. There we go, there's our cracked hollow rare. Some little fat kid going for a header. Hope he gets a goal. And oh! Oh, surely, oh, surely that is something. Holy fuck. I've never cared so much about sports in my life. Bruh. What am I looking at? Super Mario Strikers? Look at the holofoil square pattern on this thing. His special move is turning the ball into a golden disco ball. All right, up next. This is a weird one, which is, it's like a material. Maybe it's uh, one of these anime girls panties. This cost me 399 yen. I'm not gonna price check everything. <clears throat> All right, what the fuck? Okay. Who would want this? Who is drying their face? Is this to dry your face? Is this like a body pillow starter kit? Does she play the piano? Is she even a real sailor? We'll never know. I mean, I'm sure someone in the comments will. Now we're gonna open up this one, which has a nice gold border around the top. It's a uh, buddy fight. Okay, I think I've heard of this. Future card buddy fight. Okay. Let's see, okay, a bunch of mechs and things. We've got literally the main road of a city. That's a really cool and interesting card. Uh, some more mech, sexy mech ladies. Uh, two big hands. We've got, okay, oh, oh, what the fuck? Why do so many of these weird card games have such cool holographic cards? This is sick. There's so much going on with it. It's slightly textured. Everything has a kind of gold and black outline. And as I've said in the past, it's really hard to tell with these random card games if what I'm getting is good. Especially if I'm not opening too much. We've got a Sir Gentleman robot with a gun. A nice top hat. And um, on the end, another robot man. Like, is this crazy good or is this just the norm for these cards? Next up. Utopia, I think that says. We've got this nice lady on the front. This is by Takara Tommy as well, who seemed to license a lot of this stuff. And uh, it's called Wick Sauce. Wish to see sheer sauce. Okay. And, all right. Oh boy. One of these. <laughs> okay, okay. One, all right. Um, here's a more chibi looking one. Uh, all right, okay, here we go. A lot of... Uh, a lot of female characters, a lot of material used as sort of accessories and drapings, but not a lot used to actually cover up the females. They may be getting cold, I'm not sure. Uh, we have the Hindu god Shiva, or maybe uh, the, the female Goro, uh, and last of all, we have- uh, Oh, this is sick! Look at this shit! It's like a ton of fidget spinners. This one has an R in the corner for rare. And then this one is the common, which makes me think you can get every card in the set in a sort of reverse holofoil style, similar to Pokemon. Up next, we've got this purple pack. This one was obviously on mega sale for 46 yen. Let's take a look at this and see what we can get. We have, oh, it's the same one. It's a future card buddy fight. It's hard to really tell when they don't have too much English on the front, obviously. Uh, and this one looks a little bit different. Holy shit! Another sort of cracked glass holographic there. Then we have another hollow. Look at this thing! I really enjoy opening these. Just to see how all these different card sets do it. And then we've got some sort of arena on the end there. Okay, next! Am I gonna regret opening this? Maybe. Did I purchase this in a sex store? Yes. Is that going to be in a future episode upcoming on the vlog channel? Yes. Did I pay for this? Most certainly. I don't think this one in particular is uh, two sexy cards. I think this is like a 
like a weird pop group or something like that. It's just sort of like a bunch of idle cards. Uh, but I did definitely did buy some more raunchier stuff that I probably could never show on the channel. But, you know, if I do open it, we'll see. Okay, see if we can get any rares here. We've got, um, who's this? Takano Yui. Wow, very kawaii. Kai Donishi. We've got uh, Rurina Nishitazawa. See how she's got this like snaggle tooth? This is looked at as very uh, cute in Japan and some people actually get those put on. No joke. We've got Yamamoto Sayaka. It's a very cool magic trick she's doing there with her hands. And on the very end, oh, I don't know if this is really good or anything, but we got a, a signature print card. It's sort of like rainbowy. With this gold sort of holographic border. Some cards. Okay. Wow. Oh, it has a... That's sort of interesting. Wait, they might... Okay, I think they all have a back piece. Let's just flip them around and we'll go through them this way. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, so I think certain cards in certain sets do actually have a real signature card. Like someone's actually drawn on... The Idol or whoever. Sports cards, different things have drawn on it with actual texture, and that has literally been put inside the pack and sent off. And those ones typically go for a lot more than something like this that I think is uh, not unique, obviously, because it's been printed on. Still? Cool. Next, another one brought to you by Takara Tommy. What is this? 11 License Volume 1. It's hard to tell what the actual thing is. Like, what am I opening here? And... Okay, well... It's this fucking football game again, but it's kind of like a... Is this a fucking train card or something? What is this? It's like a credit card. All right, now we're opening up a Pokemon sort of... Uh, it's got B, W, X, Y, black and white to X and Y, I think. It's only cost 100 yen. It's kind of like a mystery pack put together by a, a card store or something like that. So let's take a look here. We've got... Okay. Well, that's cool. You know, I'd pay 100 yen for that. We've got a break, Zoriark break. We have a EX non holo maybe a weird promo reprint. Absolutely fucked up. Look at the quality on it. You can see all these, like, dents and things like that. Uh, then we have a, an EX strange, like, mirror print. It'd be interesting if these were somehow fake. We've got a fucking letter. And we have Deoxys EX. These are strange. This... This... They don't seem real. It would make sense to only cast on. What the fuck is these? What is these? Let's just open another one real quick. Don't worry, we've only got two. What the fuck is this? I think these are proxy cards. I think they've sold them as such. I don't think these are real. I think you're, what you're buying here is proxy cards. Very, very weird. And then like the one real card or something. Up next, Vanguard. Finally, I'm opening Vanguard. People have been telling me to open Vanguard for ages. Yes, I will at some point do a dedicated video, but you know, until then you get what you can get. Um, I don't really Oh, fucking sucky fuck! Look at this guy! Going for a downward B. I pulled this one off the front as well. There you also go. I kind of, I don't really like that. Looking like some hundreds and thousands. Okay, anyway, let's uh, continue on here. I was gonna say, I don't really like... They kind of look dull. It kind of looks like someone's put this grey wash over everything. Up next! This is like a uh, Tamagotchi, I think? Something like that? And it's stickers. Okay, it's essentially cards. We've got a little lamb with a French hat. We've got a little cum drop. We've got a little witch or wizard. We've got the main character off the front there and the mascot, I think. Another little lamb. And that's all. Very cute. Up next, Force of Will. This one cost 400 yen. So we're not doing no 46 yen budget pack. Could be something cool in here. Let's take a look. We've got this purple man. We've got this green cherub baby. Um, we've got some very uh, lackluster looking. Okay. Okay! Who's been putting steroids in the bamboo? Does this dude have a neck? Over here looking like Markiplier. Look at that thick ass neck. Okay, well, you know, I like that. And we've got a sexy wife of that warrior, maybe. Uh, and then we have just some weird pattern in the sky. We've got a volcano. And we have, uh, there you go, guys. Code card. Someone QR scan this. Happy birthday. Next, this one's by Bandai. It seems like everything's either by Bandai or Tommy. 
They license so much shit, and I'm talking trading cards and toys. Oh shit! Look at this fucking eyesore! Imagine thinking it was a cool idea to put your huge QR code in the corner of the actual card. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this a joke? Wait! These are all different! Wait, these are virtual items for a game! We've got this- this fucking blouse. We've got this skirt. We've got these fucking leggings. They're like scannable item cards. They're all two star. I got fucked. Have fun putting those in, boys. All right, let's do our evolutions midway through instead of on the end. I can't wait it out. Let's see what we get here. Let's take off the code card. There you go. And let's go one, two, three to the front. Let's see what we can get. Do we have any good luck? I've been fucked the past three times on evolutions. Legit, it's been like, uh, here we go. Hitmonchan as a reverse. And on the very end, are we going to be boned again? Is it going to be a third Farfetch in a row? One, two, three. Whoop! We've got a Mega Slow Bro. EX. Pretty cool, but I think this is the, the last card that I got. The last decent card I got from this set. Beggars can't be choosers. All right, folks. Another 46 yen pack. Where do they justify that price? Like, what is that about? Uh, we've got this. We've got that. I pulled some stuff off. We've got another shattered, cracked glass looking dude. And we have, ooh, that's a weird looking one. Next up, Battle Spirits by Card Ass. Card Ass, um, they're still kicking apparently. They used to do a lot of Pokemon stuff and things back in the day. Um, ooh, okay. That is some styling back. I really like that. That is clean. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is like a, I saw it on the front, it said 10th anniversary or something. It's one of these. Weird 10th anniversary mirror packs where everything is shiny. Yeah, I don't like the look of this, and I hate this kind of shine where you can't see what's going on. Okay, there's our nice card. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I like, I like. Very meta, he's playing the card game on the card. Next up, Duel Masters, also made by Takara Tommy. Let's have a look. Uh, Duel Masters, another one a lot of people have been asking me to open. Alrighty, we've got uh, Green Boy. We've got a blue boy, two looking sprites. We've got a man with a carrot as a- Oh, this is like a it's a fucking carrot horse. And then after that, we've got Mickey Mouse in a tank. Trying to take down Disney from the inside. After that, we have a big spell book with a ton of water coming out of it. And uh, no holographic in sight. Next up, this one is by Weiss Swartz. They do a lot of uh, weird stuff as well. I've seen that name a few places. Um, and I think this is the ones that we- Got the open that weird face flannel of okay. This is real weeaboo hours. Okay. All right Everything's up close and personal and why is it all like washed out and these cards are weird They feel like a, a drink coaster and there we go. That is our rare. Oh, we got another one on the end Which looks a bit weird, but here you go. That's our holographic and on the very end a movie moment or something like that next 116 yen Getting a little pricey. Um, what is with this? I don't understand. It's it's like double bagged. Okay. What the fuck? Uh. Um. What am I? What have I purchased? Who is this guy? Why is these cards so thick? Is this? Is this food? This has got to be food. Feels like a KFC face wipe. Okay, it's food. Mmm. Booster. Oh six versus. Uh, let's see what we can get here. If I'm opening 25 different things, we probably have okay odds of, of one of them having um, like a good version of something in it. We've got another really cool back. This might be by the same company or something like that. Maybe like a different series, a different season of the same one. We've got some huge titties, cowboy titties. Got some, some fish titties, some goddamn elven forest titties. We've got a, uh, like a little barracks or something like that. Some more elven titties. Oh, pull your belt up. We don't want to see all that hip. Okay. And then we've got some devil tennis titties. Who would have thought? Next, another one by Bushy Road and it's Y Swartz or... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know who's the manufacturer, who's gonna, who's actually licensing it, what's what. If it's, uh, I know they license all different shit from different animes and it's so, it's super confusing. It's these weird washed out looking ones again. Okay. Okay. This is... <laughs> I want to see more of this. Alright. Why do they all look so shitty? 
clearly it's from an anime or something like that, but why is this screenshot, like, so garbage? We've got another cracked hollow, cracked glass, got a movie moment, and they always seem to have this strange scene card on the end. Up next, Sword Art Online. This is, uh, definitely an anime. I have seen maybe, like, a few episodes- Oh, no! Oh, yeah! All right! It's one of these gum cards. You, you get some fucking gum and... What is this? Oh, this one's like, uh, one- Look at this. You can see through it. One of those weird ones you can hold up to a screen or put it on in the light. Ah, both of them are. Very cool. Worth it, boys. Next, another Force of Will. 198 yen. And it looks like we have a very nice card straight on the front there. At least it's shiny. And then we have a, a big... Oh, there's the non-shiny version. Okay, okay. Uh, we've got this guy. We've got this old creepy priest. We have a, a dragon, one of 16 different dragons. And then we have another holographic. I dig the border of this. Resonators gain 200 slash 200. Well, there you go. Big ups for resonators. And that's probably all of them there. Yep, we've got the little... The little uh, Thing on the back. Here you go, guys. Scan that in. Next, Klaxon. Ooh, another one by Tommy. So many different ones. I actually was almost in shock at the amount of card games that exist in Japan. That's kind of cool. Look at this. There's all this, uh, just kind of like dropped all their gumballs and they're flying everywhere. All these gems. That's sick. I really like that. Are all the cards like that? No. But uh, she's just on her shopping. When you try to take all the shopping bags in in one go. Am I right? She's also on a unicycle if you did not catch that. And then we have the... Ooh. Getting into furry territory here. We got some more big jugs. Some more under boob. That's nice. Uh, that that is, is that a rare card? What is that? It looks different than the other ones. What is that? I don't know. It's hard to... Jesus Christ! When you take all the shopping in, in one- WHY?! Is this card game about carrying plastic bags home from the shopping center? Cause you can't sexualize everything. I guess you can try. And then on the very end, holy god, that is awesome. That is sick! Her clothes are a little see-through as well there. That's a, a bonus. Alright, another one of these weird cards by this group, or these idols, or whatever. 650 yen. Yep, that's right. There's a, there's a market for this, and straight away we have a holographic, very kawaii, um, and then, oh, okay, are they all holographic? What am I looking at? What, what are all these symbols? Is that how you play the game? Uh, she's holding up, she's just gone to McDonald's and got herself like a Whopper. Uh, she's got herself a large shake. Uh, she's showing off her dress. And she's holding a couch pillow. You couldn't get much more sexy. There's a lot of hollows in here. And do they flip around? Yes, they do. Just another stock photo image of her holding the pillow. This one doesn't have a back. This one doesn't have a back. All right, well, and this one's just an ad for some magazines. And so is this one, I think. And that one seems to be... What the fuck is the consistency? Next! Some more weeaboo shite! Oh, look at those sparkles, girl. You know I like some sparkles, girl. Oh, look at those sparkles, girl. You know I like some sparkles. Oh, they're all sparkly. Oh, every single one of them is sparkly. She's eating an ice cream. It must be a hot day. Some of it's leaking down onto her nipple. Um, as you do. Yeah, they're all sparkly. Any ultra- Shh, fucking Christ! That's the ultra rare, I can tell. I have a keen eye for these things. Uh, we've got the mandatory SR in the corner to indicate it is indeed a super rare. And we have an inserted piece of paper with a QR code, which looks like it has two sisters washing each other. Japan. Okay guys, I think we've actually come to the end here. We're gonna open up Fun Deal Nova 12 Mation. That's totally a word. And then we will, after this, of course, open up our last Pokemon pack. See what we can do with our Burning Shadows. And there we go, we've got another cracked glass. Looking, this is clearly like the easiest thing to make. Besides the shitty reverse where they just make the whole card shine. Cool bro. And now to check our Burning Shadows. The side quest where we attempt to find the Rainbow Charizard. Here is the code card. And here is one, two, three to the front and we get rid of the fighting energy slash ground energy. We've got Seedra, Charmeleon, Whirlipede, 
Sandy Gast, Rhyhorn, Marrow, Caterpie, fucking Morlong, Tiny Myers, a reverse. And on the very end, guys, holy goddamn fucking what are those? Salazzle GX Fuller of the two packs, Evolutions and Burning Shadows. We pulled a nice EX and a nice GX. Sexy lizard lady. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thanks to everyone who watched the uh, Japan vlog. I think there's eight more vlogs to come. Make sure you guys leave a comment or suggestion below. Smack that bell button. Press subscribe. And most importantly, please click on one of the videos on screen. Even if you have seen it, it does help the channel. Go watch some more videos, and I'll see you guys in two days. Unless I'm gone for five.